So let's get started. The next few minutes will hopefully help you understand both what you can do with a frog folio as well as how to use the tools. Feel free to take notes or follow along at your computer. There is a supplementary document available on our website that revisits most of what we will cover today in case you'd like to see it again. And this video will also be available for you to view at any time on our website. Don't worry, we'll show you the web address at the end of the video. For now, let's start at tcu.digication.com. Go ahead and log in using your TCU email address and the password you are given when you created your account. You will see the main screen, which looks something like this. We will wait here for about 30 seconds. Please note, if you click on your name at the top of the screen where it says welcome, and then your name, you will be taken to a screen where you may change your password to something easier for you to remember. One other thing to notice before we begin is the quick start guide to the left, just under the TCU logo. To start your ePortfolio, click the Create button on the My Portfolios header. It's right here. First things first. You'll need to think of a title for your frog folio. Since your portfolio is all about you, we recommend you using your name. And remember, your colleagues and professors will see the name you've chosen. Now that you've named your frog folio, it's time to choose a template for your portfolio. For now, we recommend using the student frog folio template. It's been designed specifically with students in mind to help you reflect upon and document your TCU learning experience. For now, please make sure the You Selected Templates theme box is checked. The Permissions section is interesting and will be something you'll want to revisit from time to time. Who do you want to be able to see the things you put in your frog folio? Your choices include no one at all, only people from TCU who also use Frogfolio, or the world at large. This last option will make your Frogfolio one of the things people find when they Google you. So we recommend staying TCU only for a while until you have a robust portfolio you'd like to share with anyone who may be interested in learning more about you. Tagging allows you to add specific labels to your page to make it searchable by other users. You can search tags to find other ePortfolio users who have a common area of interest, and you can tag your own page with attributes unique to you. For example, you could tag John V. Roach Honors College if you are a member of the Honors College. We suggest allowing tags from other editors. Whether or not to allow other users or outside visitors to leave comments on your pages is up to you. However, Many instructors using Frogfolio may wish to be able to leave comments or ask students to leave commentary for one another. We recommend, similar to permissions, that you allow comments only from registered users until you are ready to take your ePortfolio public. Since you've had the tour, why don't you go ahead and create your ePortfolio now? Remember, it's best to use your real name, so don't spend a great deal of time trying to think of something clever. There will be plenty of other opportunities to be clever later on. Go ahead and get your ePortfolio running. Here's some music to help you think. <laughs> 